Okay, phase two is complete of this uh, Glock 32 project that I've been doing. Um, basically, I'm done with the trigger guard now. I've smoothed it out underneath here, a place for your finger to rest. I've also uh, added a fine stipple underneath the bottom there and uh, a fine stipple on the front. You can see there. And I've done an indexing point on here for your trigger finger. Done a fine stipple there for that. And on the other side, did something a little special. If you look, you'll see the angle. It's just a normal Glock angle right there. And then if you go to this side, I've actually taken away material and made it so there's a ledge right there. And then fine stippled that ledge. If you go over here, you can see there's a ledge. That's just going to give you a little more control with your thumb forward there. It's going to rest there and give you a little more recoil control is all. So all the grip texture has been taken off. I've enhanced this uh, line right here to make it uh, the stopping point for the stipple. There's the Glock logo on the back. We'll preserve that. Um, of course, preserving the Glock logo here. I've also sanded down the ledge for your thumb on each side. And that's going to give a more consistent look and, um, and feel to the texture. So really the last thing here I have left is just to stipple it. Um, you can see the trigger guard has been reshaped. Um, the front of it has been thinned out a little bit and flattened. Um, it's going to go good. I'm going to put a flat face trigger in here and I think that will go, go nicely with that. Uh, but so far that is where we're at on this.